this video is about symbiosis. According to a lot of reference books that I looked at, including the certification guide, symbiosis is a relationship between two organisms or both of them benefit. An example would be mycorrhizae. I'm going to cover that in more detail in a separate video. But essentially, mycorrhizae is a mutually beneficial relationship between specific types of fungi and trees. So the fungi will get resources for the trees, and the trees will give them sugars or food. So if you want to stop there, that's the definition and the study guide, and that might be all you need to know. But that's not how I learned it. In biology, symbiosis is more neutral. It just means that these two organisms have a long-term relationship. It doesn't mean that it's good or bad for any particular party. It's just that they have that relationship. And there are three main types of symbiotic relationships. The first one is one where it's good for both parties. That's called mutualism. Mycorrhizae is a mutualistic relationship. You might also have something like ants and aphids. When an aphid feeds on a plant, it taps its mouth parts into the phloem, and essentially what it excretes as waste is honeydew, it's sugar. Ants will harvest that honeydew directly from the aphids, and in, in exchange for that, they're going to protect that aphid. So if you're having issues with aphids, sometimes one of the recommendations is to manage the ants first. The second type of symbiotic relationship is where one benefits, but one is not harmed. This is called commensalism. An example I can think of is oak apple galls. Valley oaks, Quercus lobata, always have these apple-looking growths, and these are galls. Galls are formed when a wasp lays its egg in developing tissues of the tree and it triggers the tree to create this gall structure. That egg is inside the gall and the larvae or the young are able to develop protected by that gall. So the wasp really does benefit from this and for the most part it doesn't affect the tree. The third category is one where one party benefits and the other one is harmed and this is called parasitism. You might have parasitic plants or parasitic wasps as an example. Parasitic plants like mistletoe will tap into their host and pull out water, nutrients, minerals directly from the host. And this has a direct impact on the host's health. They don't give anything in exchange, it's just a one-way take. So it only benefits the parasitic plant and it does not benefit the tree at all. So those are the three types of symbiosis. If you don't want to get confused, you could stick with the more mutualistic definition that seems to be covered in a lot of books.